Hello, hi, uh, welcome back to my channel. This is uh, Dr. Muhammad Haris Sadiq. I'm one of the surgical trainees currently working in UK. This video is uh, related to co-surgical training portfolio. This year, there has been a lot of changes in terms of the recruitment process or portfolio section for a lot of training programs, but co-surgical training is one of them which has been extensively changed when it comes to the recruitment or the portfolio section. Therefore, like before, I decided to make another video about it. So in this video, what we'll be doing is discussing about the portfolio section. And I will also provide a brief guidance on how to attain, attain these uh, points and as well as how you can provide uh, evidence in the portfolio section as well, which is very important. So let's get started with the video and then see what it entails. So to speciality. So it has two subdomains, operative experience and surgical experience. Operative experience, you need to have been involved more than 40 cases appendectomy, whether open or laparoscopic, in order to attain the maximum marks, which is A. And if you are involved in less than 10 cases, you will not get any marks. So it has been divided into from A to E in different sections in number of marks you need to attain. Number two is surgical experience. So what is surgical experience is basically operative experience. So what is a operative ex experience? It is very important which shows the commitment with the specialty. Operative experience. So gaining a surgical experience or operative experience is, in, is difficult when you are, do not have any surgical rotation or where you were not involved in the surgeries before. But it's one of the most important component and shows the commitment to the specialty. So what it involves. So basically you can get A, which is the maximum marks if you are involved in more than 40 cases, which is appendectomy, whether open or laparoscopic. So in, in order with this hierarchy, you get like A to E marks and E is whether you are not involved in one of these cases. So how to present the evidence for this section? So you need to log these cases on elogbook.com, which is basically used by all the trainees in UK and worldwide. It is free to use. There is no money involved in it. You can put the patient details over there and make a portfolio about it. What you need to do is make a consolidation sheet afterwards and you can present this and get it signed by your supervisor including their uh, GMC registration number or stamped by the hospital. It should be dated as well. So in this way you can present this data and gain the maximum marks in this section of the portfolio. Surgical experience. It is also one of the most important components of the commitment to specialty section of the portfolio. Uh, what it involves is, is basically three things. Surgical elective, surgical placement, or a taster week. Uh, elective should be surgical experience is one of the other components, which is uh, one of the things which shows the commitment to specialty. Um, and this is also one of the sections which can gain you marks. So what it involves is uh, basically divided into two parts, either A or B. A means you get marks, B means you are not involved in any one of these. So which is surgical placement, which should be minimum of 12 weeks. Surgical placement, which can be either surgical placement, which is 12 weeks. Surgical rotation, which can be surgical taster week, which is minimum of 5 days. Surgical elective, minimum 4 weeks and surgical rotation or a placement during your foundation year, which can be more than 12 weeks. In order to present this data in your portfolio, you need to have the evidence of this section, get it signed by the program director or the supervisor or the consultant with the GMC number. Or uh, if they are foreign, if you are in the foreign country, uh, according to local arrangement, which shows that they are consultant, you need their registration number, dated, signed, and stamped by the hospital. So you would need this to present this in the portfolio section as evidence. Also, it is, it is important to know that uh, from next year of which is 2025-26, surgical placement during foundation year two will not be counted. And it is also important to know that from the next year, ITU is, will be counted as a surgical specialty from the next recruitment year. If you have done ITU and you're counting it towards as a surgical placement, yes, you can count these marks in this year from what it has changed from the next year as well. So make sure if you're working on the next recruitment program section, then you need to 
basically manage it other ways for example ENT general surgery urology plastic surgery transplant surgery liver surgery hepatobiliary surgery all these specialties and many of the surgical specialties are included in it so make sure you have done placement in one of these stations uh, or uh, places so that you can get marks quality improvement projects and audits are one of the most important components of the course surgical training program portfolio uh, it has two subdomains quality improvement project is one of the most important components of the course surgical training program so in order to be in get the maximum marks i will tell you what you need so basically by the time or end of the recruitment program or evidence portfolio section submission you need to do qips both full two cycles and you need to be presented before the submission date in a quality improvement project and uh, audit contains two sections subdomain one which is quality improvement project in order to get the maximum marks you need to be completed two full cycles of qip and prota change as well and it should be surgically themed you would have complete uh, be involved in all the sections of this quality improvement project which include designing leading collecting data and presenting it uh, and uh, designing leading it as well if you have done only one cycle then you can get b marks in this way a to e if e means which you have not been involved in these parts so um, this is also important and if you have gained marks maximum marks which is a b or c then uh, there are further points uh, you can achieve as well if you present this two full uh, two cycles qip in a meeting as well you get a marks and if you only present one part of the cycle you get b marks in this way a b and c um and also you you would need to be the one who is presenting it if you have not presented it by yourself then you will get c marks next is evidence so what evidence you will need is is the project title project author invitation letter evidence of presentation and uh, name and details about the meeting and it should be presented uh, in an accredited meeting uh, like royal college surgical meeting there is a free uh, meeting as well which is like uh, future surgery there are many other uh, meetings available surgical team which can present your data and you can get full marks the next domain is publication and presentation you can attain in both these categories but you can only maximize one of these categories which i'll explain later in this part of the in this video uh, presentation or publications are important aspects of the portfolio if you are a, even if you're a trainee or as a consultant because these need these are the continued uh, cpds you will need in terms of progressing as a good surgeon so it is one of the most important aspects of the portfolio so how to achieve the maximum marks you need to be published a PubMed index journal it should be original research cannot be a case report or an editorial letter uh, if you are the first author in this PubMed index journal then you can get the maximum marks which is A or if you are counting towards the presentation if you have done a presentation and won a prize and you are invited for this presentation you get A marks remember that it should not be a oral presentation it should be a presentation you will be invited and it should be by institution it is very important it cannot be like either meeting or any meeting if you have if you have only presented uh, and you have not won the prize then you get me p marks and if you have won the prize and it is a oral presentation you get p marks and if you have uh, published a case report and you are the first author you get p marks also if you have tried written down a chapter of a book which is uh, not self published you also get p marks c marks is only for uh, section of the publication if you have done if you are a co author for uh, one of the pubmed index research you get c marks if you are the first author and uh, presented in a regional meeting it can be oral poster as well if you get t marks and if you are a cited author of the publication of a collaborative research then you get also get d mark and if you have given an oral presentation at a regional meeting you also get d marks so it is important to know that uh, there is a difference if you are a named author co-author for a for a published research you get 
see marks if you are a cited author what is the difference so difference is basically if you have done a research or a publication if you are one of the three names cited above um, named above as the co-authors and like second or third author you get more marks and if you are a cited author there are a couple of people mentioned in terms of one a research like collaborative research uh, by search surgical teams and there are a lot of names people involved in different hospitals then you get uh, d marks if you are not enrolled in this any of these you get e marks which is basically zero in terms of evidence what would you need if um, it depends on what are you scoring for for the top scoring uh, you need to have the met index number of the uh, of the research you published and the letter publication letter acceptance letter if it's uh, according towards the presentation you get an uh, you need to present an invitation letter the presentation prize winning letter certificate uh, for the project you are qualifying for is named and signed by the supervisor and dated and stamped as well so these are some of the evidence which you need to collect for if it's a, a book chapter you can get ISBN number uh, which is uh, which you can present as an evidence so what does not count towards this so basically if you, it is a paid project or a presentation or a paid research which you have paid for it to be published it will not be counted the next is uh, if you have claimed uh, for marks for example oral presentation like uip in another domain you will not count uh, you cannot count interchangeably it has to be a separate project the other is non pubmed index researches will not be counted they should be or need be pubmed indexed so how you can achieve these marks uh, so start early because these things uh, can take about about a year to get or to get published invited presented collecting data so aim early for example if you are applying for uh, it will be some of the points you can she may be achieved least marks in this section if you could have uh, if you are applying for this year but if you are applying for next year definitely you can uh, achieve these marks uh, you have enough time uh and get started early if you need any guidance or help you can ask me uh, in the comment section or email me as well i'll be more than happy to help you teaching experience it is also an important uh, uh, component of the portfolio whether you are a trainee or when you get a train number and later on you so in this uh, section i will explain you how to get the marks in order to get the maximum marks you need to basically make a teaching program which is designed led made and organized and taught at least four sections of this uh, teaching sessions which has to be done by you and important is that it should be face to face you get a marks and if you are uh, if you have done it as an all uh, on an online format you get b marks if you have designed and organized this uh, this teaching program but delivered less than four sessions you get c marks if you provide regular teachings on and off on various topics or involved in it or whether you have done a teaching course you get uh, d marks e is basically zero in terms of evidence you need to get the teaching slides uh, designing leading a uh, project in section of this teaching program get it signed by a consultant it should be dated as well it can be produced from your education department of your hospital or the department so they should be signed dated and named as well and also important to note that you need to get a feedback as well um, and you will be asked to submit evidence about it make sure you do not involve any pids which is patient identification data in any section of the portfolio otherwise you may be referred to gmc or you can get like zero marks so make sure you amend these sections because uh, it is uh, uh, very it is took very seriously you need to make sure that you are doing these amendments for your teaching activities uh, basically emails or uh, teaching program which you have taught any of these all of these count towards is you need to get uh, evidence for that as well how to get on to in things even if you're in uk or international you can easily achieve this when you are starting a placement seek a gap see who you can uh, teach you can maybe if it's like university hospital it's like a, you can get medical students they are like um, a care practitioners a light health professional you can teach them make a program and try to teach them it will uh, add into your per personal skills as well in terms of communication and also as well as get marks for your course surgical training program so it was a uh, uh, summarized portfolio that guidance and how achieve, uh, you can achieve this so that's it for now these are the some of the important points i have wanted to mention in this uh, video so if you have any further questions or uh, want me to make any other type of guidance you can comment and uh, or email me i'll be more than happy to make a guidance about it 
प्लीज लाइक सब्सक्राइब एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो दिस रियली इनकरेजेस मी टू मेक मोर वीडियोस थैंक यू फॉर नाउ सी इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो बाय